Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I can't believe that we are one day away, you guys. I go in for surgery tomorrow morning at 11, so today I just wanna vlog a little bit. Hunter is getting back in town tonight. He should be home around like 11 p.m. And so I'm getting kind of a late start to the day because my brother was sweet enough to come over and watch the kids so I could run and get a last workout in because I'm not gonna be able to lift for six weeks, which is gonna be kind of hard on me. I'm the most sad about not being able to lift my babies, but it will be difficult to not exercise. So I wanted to get in like a good little last lift and I have a ton to do today. I wanted to make sure that the house was like ready to go for Hunter. I'm like feeling a little bit anxious over the fact that he has to wash the kids for six weeks by himself without me really being able to do anything to help him. Blakely has my phone right now on the floor. <laughs> do not push that under the fridge, girlfriend. Beckham's vision specialist showed me how to do like this guided access on my cell phone so I can like play spark abilities for her and make it so the screen doesn't change when she touches it. It's like locked, which has been a lifesaver. But I have a ton to do today, like I was saying. I went grocery shopping last night for Hunter and I got like all of his favorite snacks, his favorite meals, because with him flying in tonight at 11, he's not gonna be able to go to the grocery store and tomorrow he has to take me into surgery. And I didn't want him to be stressed about like having no food in the house. So I just wanted to get everything like ready and organized for him. I also organized like the kids' clothes, their diapers, their wipes, everything. So that it's like as seamless and easy for him as possible but before I get started on everything and just getting everything like prepped and ready to go for tomorrow I'm just like making some quick breakfast it's like so late in the day because I got such a late start it's literally 2 p.m. and I'm having breakfast but I'm just making an oatmeal bowl you guys know that I love these and I just use quick oats and then I'm adding in some protein powder this is my favorite protein powder like by far to cook with like if you're mixing it into something hot it's not going to get like overheated and cook and be like really gross. I love PE Science Protein, it's delicious. And then I'm topping it with Bomar butter. I am gonna have this for breakfast and then I'm gonna show you guys my Christmas decorations that I just set up that I'm so proud of. I don't have the tree up yet because I'm not strong enough to get it out of the basement. Sorry, Blakely is swishing my phone around on the floor so that's what that noise is. But I'm hoping that Hunter will set up the tree with me tonight, but we'll just have to see what time he gets home. Otherwise, he'll have to do it by himself. But I feel bad about that, but I can't like not have a Christmas tree this year. You know what I mean? So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you haven't yet, please hit that red subscribe button down below. Join me for this little surgery series that I'm doing. And of course, I'm gonna be showing you guys tons of the kids, so you're not gonna miss out on any of the baby content. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And let's go ahead and get into the vlog. Guys, I literally just found Beckham like this. He got up on this box by himself. Baba, did you pull yourself up onto that box? Oh my goodness. I have never seen him do anything like that. You guys, that's amazing. Okay, I gotta catch him before he falls off. Do you love your Built Bar, baby? You guys, Blakely loves Built Bars. It's so cute. I tried giving her a couple other bars that I thought she would like, but she is only obsessed with built. Like if I ever eat one, she takes it away from me. It's so cute. Is that one yummy? Is that so yummy? <laughs> oh, let's keep it in your mouth if we're gonna eat it, okay? I know that this shirt is about to go in the laundry, huh? just heard Beckham wake up and I can hear him laughing. Like he's laughing his little guts out so I'm gonna try to catch him in the act. <gasps> Hi love! Hi sweetheart! Did you have a good nap? He's like, mama pick me up! I think you were doing the laughs. I could hear him. I could hear him on the baby monitor. He was literally just laying there, like laughing his little guts out. Weren't ya? Let's go get you some food. Hey. 
Okay guys, so when I say that I've decorated for Christmas, this is what I mean. Like I said, I am going to attempt putting up my Christmas tree, but I'm really just hoping that Hunter helps me with it or that someone does it after I've done surgery because I don't even know if I can get it out of my basement. But I got these cute little pieces of decor and I think it turned out so stinking cute. So you guys will have to let me know what you think, but you know, I love the glitter, the silver, the gold. Look at these little reindeer. Oh my gosh, what the, what is that? Look how freaking cute that is. Sorry about the lighting in here guys, it's kind of bad, but I wanted to organize my closet just a little bit so that I have the things that I'm actually able to put on post-surgery, like right in front of me, nice and organized. Because Hunter's not only gonna be taking care of the kids, but he's also going to be taking care of me and I just wanted to make it really, really easy on him so he didn't have to like sort through my clothes to find me like an outfit that I can technically wear. So I just put all of my clothes right here that I can wear, meaning they have a button up top. So I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different like matching sets to pick from, which I feel like will be nice. I haven't decided what I'm gonna wear to the hospital tomorrow, but I guess you'll see when I put it on. But it's nice that I have like these nice, comfy, cozy clothes to wear post-surgery because it's really difficult to lift your arms above your elbows. So I'm gonna be like this for like ever. So this is really gonna help me be able to just like have clothes that are super quick, easy, and accessible. And hopefully it makes it just a little bit easier on Hunter. <laughs> So this is where I'm going to be spending like the majority of my time post-surgery. We just hung a TV on that wall so that that way I'm not like in Blakely's face a ton and like out in the living room and kitchen when she's awake because for like the first week, it's going to be difficult for me to even let her really like touch me is what I'm assuming. But after that, I'll be able to like sit on the floor and play with her. So at least I'm next to her and by her. And I don't think she'll really pick up on the concept that I can't pick her up as long as she can interact with me. But I wanted to make this space like nice and cozy. Another thing that I was thinking about is we still have our old Christmas tree from our first house and it's a lot smaller. So I kind of want to put it in our bedroom. I'd have to do that before Hunter got home or he's going to be like, absolutely not. <laughs> but then I can have like a cute little Christmas vibe while I'm stuck in this room, which I think would be really cute. I have my nightstand next to me and I'm just gonna like organize everything so it's like really easy and accessible for me. I am like an organized person. I really like to have things like organized and look pretty. That's something that gives me a lot of anxiety thinking about post surgeries that I won't be able to like clean up. So I'm trying to just make it easy for me right now. I have all of my medication, like all of the painkillers, etc that they gave me in this little white jar i think this is like technically for a plant or something but i'm gonna just keep that right next to me in bed and then i just have a little coaster and then i'm gonna always have a water bottle with me because i'm gonna be downing water a ton because as you guys know when you're on narcotics or opioids or whatever it really really causes constipation i'm gonna be downing water a ton to hopefully get you know healthy digestion back as quickly as i possibly can and also how freaking cute is this water bottle this is from my surgeon they gave me two of these and it's glass and bamboo so that's really cute and i just love the aesthetic and then they also gave me this cute little kit that they just gave to me to prepare for surgery honestly i need to read the instructions i'll read them with you because I'm really responsible, so this is the first time I'm reading through them. But, okay, it just has like the time of my appointment, so I'm going in tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'm gonna meet with my surgeon first. He's gonna like go over everything with me and then I'm gonna go back into the operating room at 11.30. And so they gave me an antibiotic, a pain reliever, a muscle relaxer, and anti-nausea medication. And then let's see, okay, so pre-surgery instructions. When you fill your prescriptions, please pick up a small bottle of antimicrobial body wash and a gentle laxative. Okay, because you know, we talked about that constipation. <laughs> please make sure the surgery site is shaven and clean by washing your body with the microbial body wash the night before or the morning of surgery. Once your body is clean, please do not apply any lotions, makeup, perfume, deodorant, etc. So I have to kiss the rub on tan goodbye temporarily, <laughs> but I need to make sure to remember not to lotion my body because I'm in the habit of doing that. 
And then this is gonna be the hardest part. Please do not eat or drink anything after midnight on the night before your surgery. This includes gum, mints, candy, and water. I am going to be so hungry tomorrow morning. 11.30 is like pretty late in the day for me when it comes to eating. I am just gonna be starving. And just the thought of knowing that I can't eat and I can't drink water, that's, that's the worst part. The fact that I can't drink water, I know I'm gonna wake up like parched just because of that. Um, it says, wear something comfortable and easy to get on slash off like a zip or button up top. If a compression garment or bra is needed, we will provide it on the day of surgery. So that's going to be one of the outfits that I just showed you guys I'm gonna wear into my surgery. And then it says, please be aware, a urine sample will be taken prior to surgery for a pregnancy test. Tell me that that would not be like the ultimate plot twist if I went in there and I came out and was like, just kidding guys, I'm pregnant. But uh, I know that I'm not, spoiler alert, it's my time of the month. So I am for sure not pregnant, so I'm not worried about the pregnancy test. But that is everything I need to do today. So I'm also gonna like wash my hair because I want to have like a fresh wash so that I'm able to have clean hair for as long as possible. And then my sister-in-law, she's so freaking sweet, the one who does my hair, she texted me and was like, hey babe, I wanna make sure that you feel good and I would love to come over and wash your hair once a week after you get your surgery done. And I was like, you're the sweetest person in the world. So that is super cute and she's gonna be helping me with that and helping me feel like 100% because we all know that like after surgery, you just kind of feel like crap. So that will be nice to feel clean and put together. So I've got all of my medication done. I'll refill my water in the morning so it's here when I get home. And then I think I'm just gonna like tuck this stuff away in my nightstand so Blakely can't get it. But that body wash that they were talking about, I think that they, yeah, they gave me some. Okay, so let's see. It's called Hibiclens. I don't know. But it's a skin cleanser. So I'm just going to put that all over my tata. And that should be good to go. This is also like a really nice like travel bag that I can use later, which I love. They also gave me this really cute lip gloss. Tell me that this is not me in a color. It's like rose gold, that's so cute. They also gave me some chapstick, which is sweet. And then they gave me, I think that's a cute little mask. Let me see. Oh no, it's not a mask. Oh, this is a little keychain. And I think this is if I have to get drains. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've talked to you guys about that. Oh, okay, this is like something I am praying does not apply to me for this surgery, but I'm not gonna find out until tomorrow. Oh, oh my gosh, I am like dreading this. I might have to get drains. It just looks awful. Like you literally have to have these drains hooked up to your chest and it's like draining blood, I think, which is not a vibe. <laughs> I'm not excited for that. I will find out. I, I don't know if he's even gonna know before he opens me up because we're doing a slight reduction on my right side just to make sure everything's even. So I'm just really hoping that I don't need drains. Originally he was like, no, I don't think you will, but now we're like, we don't know. So hopefully that does not apply to me. Okay, Blakely's down for a nap, so does the prime time, you guys. Let's see if I can set up this Christmas tree. I'm probably not gonna like vlog the entire thing, but I will check back in and show you guys if I have done it. Okay, you guys, I'm out of breath, but you're about to be so freaking proud of me. Look what I have done all by myself. Okay, I'm not done. But as this was progressing, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to show you guys because you're gonna be hyped for me and Hunter is gonna be so hyped if I can get this done. gets the green tree out in the living room. So I can't believe I did this. Now, one thing though, is I only have ornaments for this tree. So I'm gonna have to go buy ornaments for the tree in our living room. And I think I'm gonna do it tonight because if I don't do it tonight, like Hunter will have to do it by himself. And I don't know if I can handle watching him try and decorate the tree alone. Like that'd be so sad. And also like, I wanna make it look cute, you know what I mean? So, oh, not a breath, but we accomplished a lot guys during nap time. They accomplish a lot.
we are all done and ready to go. I just had to keep ornaments off of the bottom here because honestly, this will be an experiment with a little Miss Blakely, but we'll see what happens. I just got Blakely up from her nap and good news, she hasn't noticed the Christmas tree. And I think that's because there's no lights on it. So we'll see how long that lasts, but I'm gonna try giving her some pinto beans right now. So I've never really tried to give her any like bean before. So let's see how she likes it. Oh, yummy. I think she likes it. Okay, she went in for a second bite. I need her to like healthy things. You know what I mean? I need you to like healthy things, not just whipped cream. Okay? What do you think? Oh, Chloe's not here. Chloe's with grandma and grandpa. No, that's unfortunate. No, I want you to eat it. <laughs> Give it a try. I'd say that's like a hardcore maybe. Come on, go in for a second bite. That's my girl. Ever since we've been back from Mexico, I've been on like a fruit and vegetable kick, which I know, who is she? I don't know. But I need to eat like freaking good tonight since I can't eat after midnight. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna make for dinner. I am stocked with fruits and veggies, guys. Seriously, you'd be so proud of me. Also, Blakely is like downing those pinto beans. Are you loving those, baby girl? Yeah. Look at me, I don't even know. So I found these at Macy's and it's squaw doodles. <laughs> it's like zucchini and squash noodles. So I picked up some Prego sauce and I am going to put that over this and then have some fruit on the side and that will just be so good. So I'm gonna whip up dinner really quick and then I'm gonna get in the shower. That's gonna be an interesting experience because I need to like shave every little inch of me <laughs> and then I also need to like wash my chest really well with that special soap they gave me and wash my hair and little miss blakely is gonna be wild in because she loves trying to get in the shower and i decided to set up the christmas trees instead of take a shower when she was napping so i'm about to pay for that but as soon as i get out of the shower i'm gonna wrap up this vlog say good night to you guys because we're like 12 hours out almost dad dad's coming home tonight You'll see him in the morning though. You're such a supportive sister, Blakely. Say, go back him. Oh, don't knock him over. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a primal little thing I've got on my hands. You guys, she literally hasn't noticed the Christmas tree. I'm just like waiting for her to notice that thing. It's humongous. Hi, Mr. Beckham. How's it going over there? Oh, it's good? Good. Alert, alert. I just turned around to this. Can your mother not enjoy one meal? <laughs> okay, don't worry, Beck. We're going back to your show, babe. I appreciate the patience. Blakely, if you could just get down so that I don't have any more years taken off of my freaking life. Oh my goodness, this girl, you guys. I got you. I got you, boo. There we go. Is your show back on? Okay, Blakers, I'm gonna need you to get down. Oh my word. When did you learn how to get on the coffee table? All right. Come here, Stallion. Can you watch from the floor? I literally beg of you. Okay guys, I just got out of the shower. Peep my cute Christmas tree in the back. How freaking adorable is that? I love the vibe, especially with the lights off. I am just like making the vibe in here exactly what I want it to be since I know I'm gonna be laying in this bed for a while. 
but I got in the shower they gave me that special soap that I had to put on my chest and it actually helps prevent any infections so that's awesome I think I'm gonna try to order some on Amazon versus finding it at the store I think I'll have better luck and I can just Amazon Prime it because I won't be able to take a shower until I'm a couple days post-surgery anyways but now I'm just gonna get caught up on some work caught up on some editing so I have the vlogs still coming for you guys even though I'm gonna have some downtime post-surgery and then Hunter is gonna be home in a couple hours which I'm so excited for it's already 9 30 so he's getting home super late but I'm excited to cuddle him for one last night so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog oh my gosh I'm freaking out I can't believe it's here I'm gonna go stuff my face before midnight and I will see you guys in the next vlog which is going to be surgery day which is tomorrow I'm so excited you guys I will catch you then bye